Hi, Hiram here. You may have just seen my video that I did of the unboxing of the Stove Tech Firefly Lantern. What I want to do now is a first burn on it. So we take it apart. Just a nice little compact thing. Now if you watched on the other video, I had problems getting this out of this stand. Turns out it was really wedged in hard with a piece of plastic for protection. With these ham hocks, I'm always kind of afraid to use my strength to afraid I'll break something. But anyway, goes in like that. Now the more I look at this thing, the more I think that this is an inverted downdraft gasifier with the hole locations and stuff especially like in this fuel co compartment so what you do with this my still in frame yep is I'm gonna use wood pellets with this there was an instruction sheet with it saying you have to use wood pellets or very small pieces of wood I think that might give people problems if they think they can just use uh, big twigs and stuff in this. I don't think it's gonna, sorry, I don't think it's going to work with something like that. So in this case, you fill the wood pellets up to this line here, so it doesn't block the air holes. Goes in there like that. That's what I thought. Stuff falls out the bottom. Let me just clean some of this up. Now I'm going to use this one match gel fire starter on this. Just put it on the type top area. Don't know how much you're supposed to use on this. And we'll light it with a match. Let that get going a little bit. Now I think what I am going to have to do here is let this burn for a little bit. I don't think you're supposed to put that right on. So let me just start the timer here so we can see how long this is taking. And I'm just going to let this you know, go and then I'll speed it up in production. Okay, so that's been about two minutes. Don't know if you can see that there. It looks like a lot of the gel is burned. I'm hoping that the wood has started. So put this on here. Still haven't gotten a knack of this yet. And then this just goes on the top here. Hope you can see that. That it is pulling the flames up and out through the top. Now it's probably not going to get dark enough here to actually see how much this lights up but you can see that it's just like in their video it is going right up and it is coming out the top so if I put a pot yep, put a pot there it does get warm cool so I'm just gonna let this run for a while and I'll come back hopefully it'll be dark and we can see something from that but it does have a nice flame pattern no smoke uh, again I don't know if you'll be able to see this on this camera but there is no no smoke coming up out of that so it's really looking more and more like an inverted uh, downdraft gasifier air is being sucked in through these holes down inside the thing up through and through those top holes on the fuel chamber neat now the holes on this, I don't think mean anything, it's just so that it doesn't get hot inside. It's not like any air is coming in through here because the bottom of this is uh, solid. 
So we're at 3 minutes 47 seconds. I'm just going to let this burn and I'll be back and we'll see what it's done. Okay, so here we are a little over 40 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see the flames are really still going pretty good here. I only put, it looked like maybe about two cups of wood pellets in there. And I don't know, I think I still see the stuff there, although that could be the char. But I mean, look at this flame. I mean, it's just coming straight up through the thing like it's supposed to. The glass is still clean. No smoke. Wait a minute, let me check here. Nope. No smoke at all. Is that cool or what? Now as far as the brightness of the lantern, I mean it is by, called the Firefly Lantern. Here's a piece of paper. I think you can see. I can easily read it. If I had to do a lot of reading like this, I may go blind, but I, could, I can read everything here. This is a revolutionary dual biomass burning lantern slash cook stove hybrid. Blah, 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 blah. So there is light here, and I mean it's all the way around the thing. I don't know if we'll be able to pick that up on the camera, but you can see it. Now, I don't know if I said this before, this is an outside lantern. This isn't to be used in a building. Although I'm sure some chucklehead will try, but I'm impressed. <laughs> now this is with wood pellets. I guess I'll have to try it again sometime with wood that you might pick up off the trail. Although, that's really kind of dumb. This isn't the kind of a thing you would take. This is definitely not for Graham Weenies. I don't know what it weighs offhand. Did it say anything here? Uh, nope, doesn't say anything about the weight, so I'm sure it's way more than what a Graham Weenie would want to carry around. But for car camping, cabin camping, I think this would be great. You have a lantern that you can see stuff with. You can do cooking on the top, heating water. I'm sure you could warm up beans, any kind of stuff. I want to try a power pot on here and see if we can generate electricity while it's generating light. That would be cool. So, I guess now what I'll do is I'll check other people's videos, see what other people have done with this. I like to stay away from that before I look at something. But I did look at the video from Stove Tech. Again, I'll leave links down below for their site and for their video. Oh, one thing I, I forgot to mention, this was on sale. It cost me $71, but I don't remember if there was shipping. Probably was. And this was because I saw this on a uh, Sunday morning TV show. They were talking about the stove tech people. So, I don't know. I like it. It'd be interesting to see what kind of cooking you can do with this during the day. That you're not using it for a light. I'm sure you could still use it as a stove. So I have no idea how long this, these pellets are going to last, but that was about two cups. I'm just going to let it burn and see later on if it's still lit when I go to go to bed. So, this is the Stove Tech Firefly Lantern Dual Biomass Lantern Slash Cook Stove. And I'm impressed. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max who's gone in to go to bed so bye now